Mix Louder. Hey guys, uh, so today I am, uh, well tonight, I'm getting ready to load up my drift car. It is, uh, well not, not getting ready to load it up, I'm getting ready to do its final touches. So you know, basically dick with it for like two hours before uh, before I end up loading it up. Uh, the last drift event, I uh, ripped off, well the, the bumper just got blown by the wind. I didn't attach it down here in the corner and it kind of, it's kind of flappy. Like you can see right there, it's got that little bit of a gap and it was really windy on course and it blew it and it ripped it and uh, something like that happened. But uh, so anyhow, so I was gonna go ahead and fiberglass that real quick. Just, you know, on account of I hate zip tie stitch and shit just cause I don't like it. And uh, I mean, it'd probably be a hell of a lot quicker. Instead of dicking with it for like an hour, it'd, it'd probably only take 10 minutes. But uh, another issue that I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet is down there, I just have that little nipple right there. That's just like a little vacuum line nipple. Um, and basically that's for the, the coolant that was supposed to go to the second turbo. But now that I'm, you know, single turbo, it doesn't have that. So anyhow, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I, uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I thought about pinching it and welding it, but it's already, you know, full of shit and I don't really wanna be here all night sticking with it but I also don't want it to uh, to mess up with me to me tomorrow at the drift event um, last drift event I think I only went through one pair of tires the whole day so the ones on my car are pretty new so I don't have to swap those out so I think all I need to do is load up the other two sets I think they're already mounted so I don't have to do anything which is nice because I uh, kind of tired if you guys can't tell but uh, I haven't had too much sleep. I've been running around doing stuff and then staying up and then having to run around and do some more stuff. So, uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do is maybe mess with that. And uh, the back thing also, um, I didn't uh, I didn't explain to you guys, or you know, the whole hydro e-brake issue. So we pulled out this three quarter and we installed this, uh, the five eighths one. So it works, it actually works now. It works like it should. So it feels like a hydro e-brake, like an actual one. So you just hit it, you know, just pull it back a little bit and there she goes, she locks up. So I think uh, it was it was kind of the the volume versus pressure type of thing. This, uh, the three, three quarter had too much, too much volume, not enough pressure. This little five eighths that I have in there now, it, uh, it has, you know, lower volume, higher pressure. So that's, uh, that's exactly what we need. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening with this situation, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get started on that. All right, so over here on the the little issue I had down there with that, basically I just did the same thing right here. I made one of these, uh, basically a bolt and a piece of hose and two things. It's kind of ugly looking, but uh, I definitely think that uh, uh, the hose will be able to take the heat a lot more, and because it actually has like a layer of you know, uh, like string or whatever the hell in there to, to actually kind of keep it together a little bit more. So it'll withstand heat a lot better than uh, than that. Um, over here, I'm messing with the, the bumper. Got it all fiberglass back together. It uh, seems like it looks pretty decent so far. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna throw this thing up, back up on the lift, um, or lift it up at least and start messing, or basically just go around, make sure everything's all tight underneath it, because I haven't been able to do that since the last event, but uh, you know, been messing with this whole e-brake situation as well as the the brake booster delete, so this will be the actual first event with that. Uh, I was pretty excited about that, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and start actually getting this thing ready to go, because uh, you know, event's only a couple hours away, and I'd like to take a little bit of a nap before uh, before I get up there, so. What the hell are uh, are we doing up this damn early? Well, it's uh, I got my two hours of uh, of sleep, so hopefully that, that'll do me some good. It's 8:43. The drivers' meeting starts at uh, 8:45. The ladies are kind of running around. That's not a lady. That's a dude. But that's a lady. She was she was gonna start running, and then she's like, no. But uh, but yeah. 
So, Drift Colorado, round four. Um, I've made it to the other two of them. I, I missed number one because I was out in Vegas drifting. There was actually a Vegas event this weekend in Phoenix, or in Tucson, uh, for the round three of the Vegas pro -Am, but I didn't go to that. I uh, had some other stuff doing, but or that I was doing, and, uh, and couldn't make it out to that. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm here today. There's a little time attack. A little missing. We're doing the time attack and everything else today, so. All right, so we're walking to the, the driver's meeting now. We're telling Joe, GTR home is here. Hey, you wanna be in my movie? Zoom in on your face. Look at the thing. Did the bumper stay in one piece? Is there yanking it off? What's his name from Texas? Jason, the guy who went four wheeling with us. Oh, okay. He's got a 2J BBTI in it. He actually has, I think he's on ECU Master too. It's a decently big turbo. Yeah, Texas homies. How's Bubba making out? Why is it a little warm in there, but I gave you that. What up? What are you doing? Just cheating the cigarette. Did, uh, what did I tell you a couple minutes ago? That I brought the Ethan fucker up around today? Yeah. The open wastegate, yeah. e-brake, half and yeah. fucking S14, uh, JZ, yeah. son of a bitch. It's gonna be nasty. Yeah. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Well, Trevor's gonna tandem with me, Trevor's gonna be really close to me. It's so much! He's probably gonna win. Uh, probably you gonna think? Lose. Yeah, I fucked up a little bit. Why are you gonna lose? Like, because what if, like, if it comes down to you, 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 Jesse, Bam. Joe, Everyone this, yeah. with I'm, I'm kind of glad because there's actually people here today. There is. That, uh, there's like, there's I mean, look how many cars we got here. Look at the, the Texas Jay-Z right there, bud. Uh -huh. I think it's coming out, dude. But uh, out. you always make videos of me while I'm uh, spinning out and stuff, so you need to make a video. Spinning out with WiseFab? Yeah, hey, why do you spin out you, with WiseFab? No, 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 I don't spin out no more. You, I'm pretty sure I got a video of you at the last, how's that cigarette no, no, treating you? No, it's, it's pretty, good. No, it's fast. Nice. You smoked, it like a, you smoked it like a joint, though. You smoked it. in tandem. Okay? We all heard that this time? We're, we're good? Um... Hurt. The passenger, I don't care if they hold a camera or cell phone and film, but 90% of the time it's going to show a lot of footage of the underside of your seat, possibly the dirt, and some cones as it goes flying out the window. <laughs> that's your own deal. I know phones are expensive and I'm not going to do it, but that's your deal, whatever. Look at that. I should paint the one car. Are you ready for today to be hot as shit? How hot is it supposed to be? 90. I went out yesterday at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I was like, I'm going to load my shit. And then I went outside, backed up my trailer like 20 times because I don't have a backup camera. Yeah. And I said, it's too hot for this shit. And I went inside and drank a root beer. Oh, That's what I did. No. No. So last week they had this little uh, sickest entry deal, of like the eighth mile. And Casey, he, he put his car in the wall, but he, uh, he got her going again. He bent a bunch of the suspension shit, but, uh, but it's back working again. Um, the ugly side we got the ugly side. Yeah. Well, I was telling him how you you dicked it, but it, it's finally out here. Yeah. Because remember, remember the little shop tour I did at M Spec. I think it was huh? the day the day in the life video. This was the Casey. I've driven three times since then. No, I know, but I actually haven't done like a hey, this is fucking Casey, oh. and he has his car out here finally. So this is this is it. So yeah. here it is. Just and uh, and I drove it last uh, last time we were here. And I tried his hydro e brake, and it, it made me decide that I wanted the hydro e brake and the brake booster. So that, yeah, or the brake booster, booster delete. delete. Yeah, because I, I did it on mine now. So now mine's like the, the same. And then I put the 5 8 master on it, and now my e brake works. So yeah, yeah we, yes, he, uh, his whole doofed out 13.4, he, he dicked the fenders loading it on his trailer. So he got the new fenders, the fenders that I have, but he actually painted them before he came to this event. I uh, I just kind of decided to be a lazy dick and leave my my shit all uh, all ugly because I I'm just kind of don't want to put too much effort towards it this season because I'm kind of like getting getting burned. I need to I need to make some coin and do some other shit. Thank you. 
Chilling. Oh, I hope I hope I wasn't zoomed in. Every time I use this damn thing, I get all zoomed in. Oh. But yeah, so I did my two qualifying rounds. Everything felt pretty wow. decent. Um, my first one, I I don't know. How? Hey, Jesse, did you watch mine? Yeah. I watched How were they? Both. Did you have a shit ton of smoke? Yeah, I like saw it. where? I saw it. When as soon as you initiate to the first barrel, just smoke. Hmm. And then up the wall is like just bye bye smoke everywhere. And That's then good. like nasty wastegate and dope Jay Z sound, all that cool stuff. You trying? Let me hold that for you. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's still on. Oh, Damn, dude. Get back to where I pulled the fucking pin. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just pissed because it's been riding around in my car forever. to put some uh, some fuel in my car and then that guy's car way over there it was caught on fire so I gave him my fire extinguisher good thing I got uh, an extra one so I, I had an extra one in my truck so I got that thing all strapped down and then ready to go I got some fuel in my car Ethan just went against Casey and hit him a little bit so hopefully I have that on the other angle of the footage but uh, Jesse's going right now he's uh, he's going up against Forrest Verts his car used to be red uh, it's like a 400 horse SR, but uh, yeah, so they're doing, they're doing that.
right, so I just got done uh, did the top 16 battle. Uh, we did it one more time against uh, Joe Olson. He has the blue S13 coupe over there. It's pretty cool because a long time ago he was actually, like when I had like 3,000 subscribers, or I think it was even 1,000, he came up to me in a drift and he's like, oh, he's like, I watch too many videos on YouTube, so that's pretty cool. And then he waited about a year and a half or two and he got a car, which is cool just to be able to compete with them, you know, again, actually battle and go one more time. And, uh, you know, the second time I ended up getting the win. But uh, yeah, at least, at least we got some decent time on track. Right now, the wind is blowing this way. My car was getting kind of hot. Um, so I parked it. So the wind is coming through the radiator right now. So, because it was, felt like it was just kind of trying to vacuum into nothing. But now it's pulling off really good. Um, tires are doing all right, I hope. Uh oh. Oh, that ain't good. change tires before So uh, got everything pretty much all loaded up. The car pretty much, it, it did great today. I, I couldn't uh, couldn't really ask for, for much more, you know, as far as the engine tranny and e-brake setup. I uh, definitely need a little bit more grip in the back. It, it kind of felt like it was on ice skates and kind of wanted to, later Scott, and uh, kind of felt like it just wanted to slide a lot, you know, when I, I basically had kind of let out and it would just keep floating, um, which is kind of, I kind of like that, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Uh, so I'd like to dial in a little bit more grip in the car. And especially now that I have the e-brake and um, basically I was, I was just kind of getting used to, to using the e-brake. Um, I was initiating and I would just kind of leave my, like next to people, I would leave my uh, foot on the, or not my foot, my, my hand on the e-brake, trying to, you know, gain a little bit of proximity, try to suck up on them as well as, as not run into them. Um, so yeah, the car did good, I made it top eight, um, got eliminated in that by Wes. 
I kind of went a little bit wide on my uh, follow run and he he was a little bit shallower and, and kind of ran away from me and I, I couldn't catch up but uh, yeah overall everything seemed to be pretty decent at uh, the very last we did a, uh, a little tandem train and one of the guys he I think it was one or two they spun in front and I tried to yank my e-brake and get it uh, get it back and uh, yank my e-brake and get it back around so that I, I didn't like hit him with the side of my car try to you know put like spin next to him pretty much like spin out like how he did but they didn't work out too bad didn't uh, didn't really hurt my car I kind of put a little little dent on his car and but yeah pretty much the only thing that happened was this thing right here so that's it but uh, yeah overall you know had a blast out here today um, went through like three sets of tires which kind of sucks because it's expensive but uh, yeah now I'm gonna go home take a nap <laughs>